Hey, Shalom, Shalom. I want to give all praises going and honor to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shah, Bashem, Rekarkadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders. And much respect and salutations to the brothers out there that's preaching this word of truth and sincerity. And Shalom to the elect of Israel. Um, pretty much, this, this is a blessing, man. This is a blessing to be in this thing. You call to, you call to be a, a you call to to preach this word. You call to follow the laws, statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Bashim Yahshua when everybody else, you know, is out there partying and, and having a good time. So you entering into the uh, uh, straight gate, all right? You enter in the straight gate, all right? And you're not being fearful. You you understand that you got to fear Yahweh Bashim Yahshua and keep the commandments to the best of your ability and not out here uh, playing any games unto him. You know, and that's why you're watching and you're praying that uh, you're worthy to escape everything that's coming to pass. All right. So let me get that in. Um, let's enter into the straight gate. It's Matthew um, 7 and 13. All right. So this is Matthew 7 and 13. Enter ye in at the straight gate. Why, Lord? For why, for wide is the gate and broad is the way that leadeth to destruction. All right. So you don't want to take no shortcuts in this thing, man. All right. You don't want to take no shortcuts in this thing. You call it the priest's word. Go out there, priest's word, man. All right. The word actually says priest the word in season and out of season. All right. Be instant in season and out of season. All right. And, and you got these dudes out here that still... I still don't want to uh, uh, preach the word outside, all right? You know, it's a, it's a good thing that you, you know, preaching the word inside, but, all right? But but when you going to go out there and preach the word outside, all right? You're supposed to be out there, all right? I'm taking no shortcuts, all right? No shortcuts in this thing, man. Enter in the straight gate, all right? Make sure you, uh, um, you know, correcting your spirit, correcting your mind, man. Making sure that, you know, you yourself is preaching what you are, uh, uh, making sure that what you preaching is, is that what is, is, is a <laughs> slack you. Make sure that you preaching and make sure that you doing what you preaching, man. All right. So this Bible, this word is your God, man. So it says enter into the straight gate, all right? You enter into the wide gate, you take taking shortcuts, you're thinking that you ain't got a preacher's word, although you, the Lord called you the preacher's word, you might be destroyed, man, all right? And you never know, you know, you got brothers out there that's never know, you know, that's uh, called the preacher's word, you know, just sit down, actually uh, uh, read this Bible. Let's get that <clears throat> in Revelation real quick, and I'm going to jump back to that. It, uh, Revelation 1 and 3 Blessed is he that readeth And they that hear the words of this prophecy And keep those things which are written therein For the time is at hand Alright, blessed is you that readeth Alright and, and that reading is, is reading with understanding Alright Like I say, this is a blessing to be To be an Israelite To be called to First to be called to be First to be an Israelite and second, to be called the priest's word, man. All right, because you got blessings coming upon you. All right, so many, so many blessings, but you got to endure to the end, and you got to do what the Lord tells you to do. All right, you do what the Lord tells you to do, then you bless, man. All right, and so you know, Lord willing, we of the hopeful elect, and, and we keep His commandments to the end. All right. So, like I said, bless is He that readeth. All right. You're reading with understanding, all right? You're getting into this thing, and eventually, you never know. You might be called the priest's word, all right? 2020 is coming up, all right? You know, uh, um, you know, you think about it, it might be spiritual. 2020 vision, all right? More and more brothers and sisters might wake up in, in, in the time of 2020, all right? Start seeing this devil for who he is. Start seeing this world for who it, for what it is. And start, you know, knowing their nationality, knowing that they're Israelites, all right? 
And then they too walk into the straight gate. All right. Because you got blessings coming to you. You come, you know, you walk into the straight gate. Uh, uh, you reading this word. You going out there preaching. All right. It's, it, you know, you got them, you know, the Lord's adding talents, you know, ask for the Lord for more talents, <clears throat> you know, all right, so let's get back to it, um, let's re, let's reread, uh, Matthew 7 and 13, enter ye in, in the straight gate, for wide is the gate, and broad is the way that leadeth to destruction, and many there be which go in, <clears throat> which go through it because straight is the gate and narrow is the way which leadeth unto life and few there be that find it. All right. So, the, so this truth right here, this understanding, this truth of this Bible, hmm, it's like you, it's truth and this understanding of this Bible, man, it's, it's uh, man, this is only given to a few, man. Lord's only dealing with a few. All right, because because we understand, you know, walking in this thing, you know, we understand that the two thirds got to die. And some of the two thirds may be be your family members, some of your friends. All right. And, and the Lord's about balance. And he shows you that the Lord's about balance. And, and you know, you in it, they not in it. And that way, you know, near to the end, they may see you get beamed up in them chariots. And it'd be like, damn, we should have listened to him, man. We should have listened to him. <laughs> All right. So let's get um Matthew 13 10. All right. Because this, this is beautiful, man. This is the beautiful thing to be in this truth. All right. It's classic scripture. And the disciples came unto him, saying, Why speakest thou unto, unto them in parables? And he answered and said unto them, Because it is given unto you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven. But to them, it is not given. All right, so it's beautiful, man. I said, this is a blessing. You got to thank Yahweh for breathing that breath of life into you. All right, wake you up out of that dead state. All right, that you no longer dry bones. All right, I ain't going to lie. It's kind of saddening, man. You know, seeing, uh, uh, you know, your other friends and family members out here partying and, and living it up. All right, it's kind of sad. Cause you want them to wake up, but, um, you read these scriptures and, and you understand it's like, man, you know, they're not meant to get it, man. They're not meant to get it. They are the two thirds. All right. They're not meant to get this word. All right. I say count this as a blessing. Always thank you. How about you outside that you in this thing? You know, I want to thank them right now. Thank you. You how about you outside for, for waking me up to this truth. All right. Cause you ain't have to do that. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Um, for who, for whosoever have to him shall be given, and he shall have more abundance. But whosoever have not from him shall be taken away that he have. All right. You you staying in the straight gate. All right. You preaching his word, trying to keep the commandments to the best of your ability. All right. Almost walking like. On eggshells, you know, watching what you do, watching what you say, all right? Make sure that you humble, all right? Most likely, you you got a, you got a reward coming to you, man. You staying in the straight gate, you got a reward to you, man. And we got to believe that, and I believe that, man. That's why we got to wake up and make these videos, man. That's why we got to go out there and preach this word, all right? Let me see, um... Therefore, I speak to them in parables because they see not and hearing they see not, neither do they understand. So we understand, man, you know, two thirds, which is going to be some of your friends, some of your family members. You know, it, it's kind of sad seeing that they won't wake up. But um, when you read the word, it, this, this is your this is your God book, man. All right. When you read the word, you, you understand that, man. You know, the Lord didn't choose them, all right? The Lord didn't choose them. He chose them to add iniquity upon iniquity. You know, you, you know, here it is Hanukkah and everybody else is celebrating Christmas, eating that uh, turkey. I mean, not turkey. <laughs> I know I got some turkey in there. 
man. <laughs> turkey ain't off, man. All right. If you think turkey is off, something wrong with you. You need to repent and actually understand the scriptures. But um, <laughs> eating pork, Salakia. They eating pork. All right. They got their ham sandwiches. They got their ham. All right. Got their Christmas dinner. They got their tree up, you know. And like I said, it's, it's it's sad. It's sad seeing seeing your family members, family members and friends, you know, going through that way. But you know, that's that's just how you how about shit me outside had it. All right. I say you may wake up, come to the truth, try to wake them up, and um, you know, like I say, you endure to the end, and they might see you, you know, get beaned up in them chariots, and you're like, damn, he was right. <laughs> I mean, it's it's crazy, man. Let me see. Uh, I think I want to get Second Corinthians four and three. Let me see. Bear with me. Pass it up. It's lucky. So it was just there. space all right this is second Corinthians four and three but if this gospel be hid it is hid unto them that are lost all right in whom the God of this world have blinded the minds of them which believe not lest they let the light of the glorious gospel of Mashiach who is the image of God should shine unto them all right so pretty much it just boils down, you know, we understand that King David prayed, all right, for, for the Israelites. That's, um, what's that, Psalm 69, Psalm 69 to uh, 21 on down, I believe. All right, we understand that King David, all right, prayed for the two-thirds not to, not to get this truth. And like I said, some of the two-thirds might be of your friends and your family members, man. All right. And, and Yahweh is just adding iniquity upon iniquity upon them, man. And, and that way they're not able to see the light. And, and Yahweh, you know, answered King Dave, David's prayer. And that's why you see in your walk today that they can't get it. Now, you know, don't totally, totally give up on people. You know, they, they may wake up eventually. All right. Just give them some time. But, you know, this is a balanced thing as well. All right, this is a balance. We got to perceive who is able to receive this knowledge and who's not able to receive this knowledge. All right. All right, so um, let me see. What else I want to get? Let's see, let's get Isaiah 62 and 6. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Like I said, it's a blessing to be in this thing, man. All right. This is Isaiah 62 and 6. I have set watchmen upon thy walls, O Jerusalem, which shall never hold their peace day nor night. Ye, have, ye that make mention of the Lord, keep not silence. All right. So that's why we're supposed to be, you know, it's a blessing to be in this thing, man. You called to be a watchman. Like I said, uh, uh, most likely you keeping the commandments of law, law statutes, the commandments, y'all by seeing me outside to the best of your ability and, and your watchman going out there preaching this word, letting Israel know, you know, their sins. All right. And, and letting them know what's, what's coming to pass. All right. You, you most likely got a reward for that, man. And, and you got to you got to thank you. How about me outside for that? All right. Cause not everybody's called to be a watchman. That's that's, you know, like I said in my other videos, that's that's, to be a watchman is one of the greatest jobs you know in the world, cause you endure to the end, get that crown of glory. You know, you you got rewarded for that, man. Here, everybody else is living it up, you know, in that kingdom right now, 
and, and most likely, you know, you humble down and, and follow this truth, all right, to the end, the Lord got a reward that's greater than their reward on this side of the earth, all right? So we we the watchmen, all right? So also we understand that, um, I believe the other day it was a, a solar eclipse, the last of... Um, the last of the year, all right, of the century, I guess you could say. And, um, you know, the Lord is showing signs, wonders, and signs in heavens, all right? And he's letting us know that uh, he's He's coming back, man. He's letting us know that he's coming back. And if you ain't gird up your loins like a man going out there preaching his word like you should, you know, I got bad news for you, all right? The Lord, Lord you know, may... Give you a reward that you're not thinking of, man. That might be that sword, man. All right, so this is uh, verse 7. And give him not rest till he establish, until he make Jerusalem a praise in the earth. So that's our job, man. That is our job to, to you know, give you how with no rest until, until he makes us a praise in the earth, until he gives us that spiritual power, all right? You know, Lord willing, we, we might even get spiritual power this year. We might see more angels. We see more and more chariots show up. You know, I know uh, early this year, I saw a chariot in the sky, and it was beautiful, man. I wanted to get it on camera. I wish I did, but, man, it was it was beautiful. All right? So, you know, the, the Lord is watching over us. All right? You gotta make sure that you stay in the straight gate and preaching this word and you're not giving me a how by sitting me outside no rest, man. All right. Um let me see what else I want to get. Uh it was something else. Uh um dang, it was something else I wanted to get. Uh <laughs> it was something else I wanted to get, man. It was something else. Maybe I can it was something else I wanted to get. I can't think of it. But anyways, let's um uh, I can't think of it right now, but um I'm gonna go to Revelation 21. Alright. Let's go to Revelation 21. Uh did I want Revelation 21? It's a 20 Two, let me see. Yeah, it was Revelation 21. Yeah, it confused me, so like it. This is Revelation 21 and 8. But the fearful and unbelieving, all right, you fearful, man. You're supposed to go out there, preach this word, man, not be fearful. You're supposed to be out there, bold, bold as lions, man. You know, you're, you know, not being unbelieving, we, we, you know, you enter into the straight gate, you have the utmost faith that Yahweh Shem is going to save you up out of this thing, man. And the abominable and the murderers and the whoremongers, sorcerers, idolaters, all right, you're up in that Christian church, you got that um tree in your house, all right, worshiping other gods, all right, that's, that's another form of idolatry. Putting your car above everything else. That's a form of idolatry. And all liars shall have their part in the lake which burneth with fire and brimstone, which is the second death. All right. So we understand, you know, we ain't supposed to be fearful in this thing. Like I say, you got to endure to the end. Keep the commandments to the best of your ability and endure to the end. All right. Let's get uh, the next chapter. This is Revelation 22 and 14. Blessed are they that do his commandments, that they may have the right of the tree of life and may enter through the city, th enter through the gates into the city. All right. Blesses you that keep this commandment. Blesses you that read it. Blesses you that go out there and preach this word in truth and sincerity, man. All right. Um, let's get uh, Revelation 3 and 10. It's John. How'd I get there? <laughs> Anyways, this is Revelation 3 and 10. Because thou hast kept 
the word of my patience, I will also keep thee from the hour of temptation. All right. This is your reward, man. Your reward for going out there, preaching his word and truth and sincerity out there in the season and out of season, in the cold and the hot and the rain. All right. The Lord seeing your sacrifice. All right. Blesses you, man. All right. Because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I will also keep thee from the hour of temptation, which shall come upon all the earth, come upon all the world. And try them that dwell upon the earth. All right, what is that? That's the mark of the beast. All right, the mark of the beast is the RFID microchip. All right, behold, I come quickly. Hold fast that which thou hast, that no man take thy crown. All right, don't let no man take your crown in this thing, man. If somebody falls out the truth, you don't fall out, man. That just makes you go harder, man. That just makes you go harder. All right. His lot was to fall out the truth, all right, and, and to be example uh, uh, for you not to follow that man, all right? Him that overcometh, I will make a pillar a pillar in the temple of my God, and he shall go no more, no more uh, out, and I will write upon him the name of the name of my God. In the name of the city of my God, which is in New Jerusalem, which coming down out of heaven from my God, and I will write upon him my new name. All right. So so the Lord got a crown for us, man. All right. Going to give you that new name. Going to get that crown. All right. Going to keep the commandments to the best. You, I mean, you're going to, in that day, all right, you're going to be perfect. All right. With that new covenant. All right. You won't be sinning anymore, all right? And, and most likely you're going to be above be above all nations, all right? Be above all the Israelites, all right? So let me get uh, Syrac 1919. All right. It's one of my favorites. Let's see where you at, where you at, where you at. All right, so this is Sirach 1919. The knowledge of the commandments of Yahweh is the doctrine of life. And they that do these things that please him shall receive the fruit of the tree of immortality. <laughs> beautiful, man, beautiful, man. All right, you do the things that are pleasing to Yahweh Hashem all right? It's going to give you that tree of immortality. You won't have to taste the second death. All right, so that's pretty much it, man. Enter into the straight gate. Keep the commandments to the best of your ability. All right, preach this word like you should. All right, don't fall off. You know, thank you, Yahweh Hashem al for uh, making you a watchman. You know, even if he ain't a watchman, you know, you, you're a help. You know, thank you, Yahweh Hashem Yahshua, for uh, waking you up to the truth and that you keeping the commandments and that you helping the brothers out there that's in this ministry. So with that, I want to give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh Hashem Yahshua, Hashem, Rakakadash, and shalom to the light.